Yeah, welcome to Extra Mechanics. And in Extra Mechanics, we are into research, design, training, consultancy. We focus on 3D modeling, 3D printing, all things 3D. We actually do our manufacturing in house, we have the equipment, and we do not just stop there. Part of what we do also is training, 3D training. 3D modeling and uh, generative design. And also we do automotive training, automotive certification. We do also autotronics. Some people call it automechatronics. And the final thing we do here also is the composite materials where we use fiberglass, carbon fiber to make spare parts, body parts. Today, we're going to focus mainly on 3D modeling, especially in the regenerative medicine aspect of it. We're going to model body parts, the uh, hand and leg. You see how we do the modeling. And the objective is to replace the common POP cast that is commonly used right now. We want to give an alternative to that lightweight aeration you can take your bath with it and also it conforms to the exact shape and dimensions of whatever part that it is that we want to uh, use a brace for the process is first we scan the body part that we are to build the brace or cast or splint. For instance, if a le uh, left leg is broken, we'll scan the right leg and we'll do a mirror in the scan. The first one we're using here is known as Autodesk Fusion 360. And that's the primary software that we use for our modeling, our design, uh, processing of all jobs that we do. Design that you're looking at is for the arm same way we do we scan and we do all necessary modification you can see the design on this you have some holes spaces in between the arm to give uh, room for aeration and all that and after we have finished this process we now export an stl file and this is the file format that the next software is able to read and with this mesh mixer that is where we do our final editing of what we have uh, done in autodesk fusion 360. i would like to show you the process for uh, getting another type of design we're using the leg scan model for this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make whole patterns on this now we have created the mesh and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to get the toes off this is the final product and you can see this is what we sent to the printer what you i'm holding here is a test print you could call it an ankle brace and you could see the design you see the mesh and uh, the toe side the toe portion removed now this is lightweight solid rigid sturdy strong and uh, we are looking forward to researchers and orthopedic surgeons to Get in touch with us so that we can refine this aspect of uh, medicine better. From the design that you saw the previous time, we'll take uh, the file copy of the design. After some conversions have been done, we'll slot it into uh, the 3D printer. The print starts. And what you're watching is a layer by layer building of the product that has been designed now for this for this setting each layer of print is 0.2 millimeters thickness 
and that's what's contribute up to whatever size that you want. In the fuse deposition modeling process, you have different materials that you can use. You have plastic, you have carbon fiber, you have metal. And recently also, you have human tissues that can be used in generating uh, body parts. Now, you could say that is uh, weird, but it's actually happening. Now, that is known as an arm of regenerative uh, medicine which is a new thing that is coming. We're doing is uh, one of our research that we want to replace the normal POP with this cast. And what it means is that no more each, you can take your bath, lightweight, every print is par, the structure, the shape of the individual patient. And this has the advantage that uh, you have every perfection to the bone, healing and also to the structure that uh, is required. What you're going to see is uh, something that is light, strong and uh, comfortable I say and they come in various designs like you have seen in the, the design that we, uh, that we made. We're expecting people to, comp uh, to partner with us to get this going, to perfect this so that uh, yeah we can have a leap ahead in our research into having a more comfortable uh, cast or brace or splint for patients.